Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you a bunch of tips and tricks to take you from being a bot to someone who can actually drop 15, 20, or even 30 kill games in Fortnite Zero Build Mode. I'm going to go over how to improve your aim and tracking, awareness, ability to stay alive, and overall game sense so you know when to take fights, pull away from fights, reposition, etc. If I do miss anything and you have any other questions at any point in the video, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Let's get into it. First things first, you're going to want to improve your aim and tracking. There's no other core mechanic that is more important since you obviously do not have to worry about building in zero build mode. If you're on PC, download an aim trainer like Kovacs. It's the one I personally use. They have presets for different Fortnite situations in the aim trainer. I will leave a link in the description below to Kovacs. If you do not feel like downloading anything or you're on console, just go into different maps on Fortnite that have a variety of aim training game modes. This is the one I personally use and they have different situations to practice your aim, tracking, distance tracking, etc. Also, just playing the game in general, your aim will improve, just not as quickly if you're not using the other two methods I listed. I suggest practicing these for about 10 or more minutes a day depending on how much time you have, and you will very rapidly see that your aim will get better. Next, we will get into awareness. Awareness is obviously being aware of what is going on around your area of the map. Go into your settings and turn on audio visuals. I do not give a flying fuck what anybody says about using this. You'll be shitting on the dumbass not using it since you're able to see their elephant feet coming towards you or what direction their shots are coming from. Turning this on will drastically increase your view of what's going on. You're also going to want Want to constantly be scanning your environment, map, and compass. This will allow you to see any medallions either pushing or pinching your team, and you'll be able to third party gunfights, and you'll be less likely to be snuck up on. Always scan your inventory and health. This chapter takes forever to reload, so make sure you and your team are doing reload checks after every fight. Next, we will cover ability to stay alive, which also ties into awareness. Since this is zero build, I highly recommend you get movement items like the grappler, shockwave grenades, or at the time of recording this, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Mythic. You can also use cars to move around, as well as use them for cover. A lot of the time I don't carry heals, I just go with a grappler and shockwave grenade since I'm able to move quickly and reset fights when I need to. And after you win your gunfights, most people carry heals, or there's usually vending machines close to a lot of the areas, so when you wipe a team, you can just use theirs to heal up and continue moving. If you cannot find a grappler, there is a location to buy them. Just go to this point in the map, and purchase one for 400 gold. You can also buy shockwaves at this location on the map from April. You obviously do not want to get caught on low ground or out in the open, so always be scanning for the closest piece of higher terrain and the closest piece of cover, such as your vehicle, trees, rocks, buildings, etc. Next up is overall game sense. This is knowing when to take fights, pull away from fights, repositioning, knowing when your opponent is scared to fight, etc. Typically what I will do is if I spot a team, instead of just blasting right away, I ensure that I am in a good position that has cover nearby or some place to hide if need be. You should always know or have a way out of every gunfight that you get into. The island is a common area of fighting taking place, but if you have the low ground, do not fight anyone on the island in duos, trios, or squads. Unless you're close enough to when you knock someone, you can push up very quickly. A lot of times this leads to you or your teammates getting killed and by the time you even rush the island, the enemy has already been revived. If you find yourself in a bad area or are outnumbered, which is a death sentence most of the time in zero build, use shockwaves to get away. This allows you to reset the fight, get better positioning, and or heal if you need to. Another tip I would highly recommend is if you or your teammate knock someone, finish that player as soon as you can, that way they cannot get revived. If they begin to get revived, especially in duos, that would be a good time to push in and clean the last player up since they will be stuck in the revive animation for quite some time. In this clip, you can tell that my opponent is scared to fight since I just clapped their teammate and finished him. He tries to get in the car and I shoot his tires out knowing he would have no other way of escape and I am able to get an easy kill while he panics. Playing the game long enough, you'll pick up on little things like that and just be able to tell when someone is scared to fight, which typically means they're either weak or they're just not very good at the game. Another tip is to go for as many medallions as you can. You always have at least 100 shield with one medallion in zero build. They also, as you know, alert other players to your location, which if you're trying to get better is a good thing since you will be forced into more gunfights, often by players who are somewhat competent which will in turn make you better. This also allows you to get away with carrying little to no heals like I stated earlier and just cleaning them up from players you kill throughout the game. You should be pushing medallion drops and medallion teams every game for more gunfights. Another good tip is taking note of the ways and reasons you died or lost a game. You will very quickly fill out a list that shows you what you need to work on, i.e. died due to bad aim, poor decision making, player had better positioning, careless push, etc. Once you have a list, if you're able to work on them such as bad aim, go ahead and load up the aim trainer and get to work. If it's a mental issue, then try to remember that in your following games and gunfights and don't allow them to happen again. That is all I have for this video. If you guys have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you guys want more in-depth videos on any tips, anything like that, just let me know as well and I'll get a video made as soon as I can. Subscribe if this helped you out, leave a like, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.